What's up family? This is your boy Ivan Hall. The Credit King. Do you know how to start building credit with no credit history? To create good credit, you must be persistent and patient. Building credit takes time, and you will face a variety of challenges initially. In the realm of credit, the so-called catch-22 is that you need excellent credit to acquire loans, but you also need loans to get good credit. This might be upsetting since it appears that you do not have access to the one item you require to improve your financial future. Fortunately, there are several options to begin building credit from scratch, including loans, credit cards, and asking for help from family and friends. When you initially start out in the realm of credit, the sorts of credit cards available to you will be more limited. Having said that, there are a few alternatives that will allow you to begin earning credit until you can unlock better ones. Secured credit cards are available to almost everyone and lower the lender's risk. You put down a cash deposit, generally between $200 and $300 initially, and the lender issues a line of credit in your name for that amount. As you make payments on time, this information is recorded to the credit agencies, which helps to strengthen your credit. Make careful to choose a card that does not have a high annual cost. In addition, be certain that the firm will report the payments to all three main credit agencies in order to maximize the good influence on your credit. While retail credit cards may not always provide the greatest conditions, they can help you develop credit while saving money at locations you already shop. Because credit cards have high interest rates, the best approach to utilize them is to make minor purchases each month and then pay them off. Student credit cards can allow young individuals to acquire credit. Again, keep in mind that credit cards may have exorbitant interest rates, stringent restrictions, or other conditions. If you qualify, there are a few loan cons that might help you develop credit. A credit builder loan is the most accessible loan for someone who is starting from scratch and wants to develop their credit. A credit builder loan operates in reverse. You make monthly payments toward a predetermined sum. When the loan requirements are satisfied and you successfully repay the loan, the lender will give you the complete amount. This decreases lender risk while simultaneously allowing you to develop credit. However, you will have to pay interest, and these loans do not provide you with immediate access to funds. Making student loan payments toward college debt may be recorded to credit bureaus, which may boost your credit score. Because they are long-term loans, setting up automatic monthly payments may be beneficial, as late payments can have a significant influence on your credit ratings. If you are accepted for a car loan, making loan payments may help you develop credit. However, be assured that the lender notifies payments to credit bureaus. Additionally, before accepting to any loan, check around for the best loan conditions. Small personal loans may be an alternative for those who do not qualify for other sorts of borrowing. However, keep in mind that interest rates are often high, and these loans may have additional undesirable stipulations. Other than loans and credit cards, there are other methods to begin developing your credit. Renters may be able to have their rent payments recorded to credit agencies in specific instances. The landlord would have to consent to this ahead of time, which they are not compelled to do. There are certain third-party firms that will report the rent for you so that the landlord does not have to, but the landlord must still agree to utilize the service. Furthermore, these services typically demand a fee to utilize. Some additional payments may be reportable to credit bureaus. Fees made to utilities, cellular providers, and other alternative payment methods, such as cable or internet payments, may be reported to credit bureaus for review. If you are close to a responsible credit user, such as a parent or close friend, you may request to become an authorized user on their account. In theory, this implies that any data recorded for their credit account will also be reported for your account. Credit firms, on the other hand, are not required to submit data for authorized users. Furthermore, FICO and other organizations are reducing the effectiveness of this approach, making it easier and more useful to attempt other methods. A cosigner might be useful when applying for a vehicle loan, credit card, or personal loan. A cosigner is someone you trust who signs alongside you, putting their credit on the line to decrease the risk of lending to you. This raises your chances of obtaining more favorable conditions. Whatever method you select to begin establishing credit, proper credit habits must become a part of everything you do. Approval is the first stage in the process, but your research will have a significant influence on your financial destiny. Here are a few things to think about while starting out. Pay on time. You should never miss a payment. Set up automatic payments if necessary, and if you can't pay more, pay the minimum. Avoiding interest as much as possible. There are interest rates, but the faster you pay off your balance, the less interest you pay. It is a prevalent misconception that you must carry a balance in order to develop credit. 
Avoid overspending. Keeping your spending under control not only lowers your interest rate but is also beneficial. Your credit score is affected by your overall credit utilization. If your utilization is excessive, it may appear that you rely too heavily on the card. For more credit tips, credit hacks, and credit repair secrets subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us online at thecreditking.com.